All right, let's wrap this thing up with the last guy on the totem pole. The old totem Cole. Ooh, mm. I like what you did there. The totem Keelan Cole. <laughs> well, there's nobody. There's certainly not a tight end to speak of, like unless it's a leap year or something. <laughs> yeah, that's Mercedes, the only time. Caught, Mercedes caught those three touchdowns yeah. in London earlier in the year. In the in Tafoy, or I forget who it was. Was like, when was the last time you were talking like this in the red zone? And he was just like, 2011. <laughs> <laughs> Knew exactly when. Yeah. yeah, I knew you were going to ask me this question, and I was ready to go. All right, well, Keelan Cole has been a, a, a nice little undrafted free agent addition out of Kentucky Wesleyan, where mm. the numbers that this dude put up were silly. Hmm. 205 receptions, 4,303 yards, 53 touchdowns, 20 yards, 21 yards per catch, which is Balling. ridiculous. Dude just was absolutely bonkers. <laughs> um, but he's he's been doing most of his work out of the slot for this offense, especially since Hearns went out. Hearns was kind of man in that slot a little bit. Um, but it's he so the, he came in with like a four six kind of speed. He looks way faster than that on the field. Yeah, that um, doesn't even make sense. No, I didn't. I I thought it was a misprint. Had bad cleats. I guess so. I I don't really know what was going on. But the way that they're kind of using this guy is a little bit of. Uh, down the field vertical attack it seems when they want to take the shots they're they're giving keelan cole some opportunity here to take the shots with um i we, we kind of same thing with dd westbrook he kind of we kind of tagged this guy in the preseason he was making showing out and making all the uh moves and and separation from from defenders but just wasn't bringing in the catches kind of had a little bit of the yips early on there and and now he's 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 Perfect three for three this game, I think, or whatever it was for yeah, ninety three some for yards three, and a touchdown. Yeah, three for three, ninety-nine and a touch. Well, I think uh, you know. Let me not say that Keelan Cole's the the next uh, best thing, but in the beginning of the year, I think maybe some of the wide receivers were surprised if there was a ball on target. You know, from sure. the quarterback that was supposedly wasn't going to be the quarterback because he wasn't good. You know, Scott even, Tolzien. What's that? Tolzien? Oh, no, that's the Colts guy. Who did they bench? Uh, for Penny. Uh, Chad Henny. Henny. Chad Henny. Dang it. Blew yeah. that. Switch teams on me. And I was like, yeah. what are you talking about? <laughs> I just big code, big co. Yeah, I was like, huh? <laughs> what? I know how it feels. So what? Blake Where Bortles. Where we go with this? <laughs> right. So yeah. yeah. No, I, I mean, you know, Keelan Cole, I mean, if if you'd have told Keelan Cole that he could have caught, got 20 targets, you know, on target that were catchable this year, he'd have took it. Yeah. And, and taken his ball and gone home and been happy about it and said, all right, I got a good sophomore year to go through. So I think he's... I think he's obviously, like you say, he's been playing a lot better than anybody thought he would this early in his career. But coming out, I mean, for all those stats you read about him in college, one thing that jumps out to me is, uh, you know, one out of every four catches is a touchdown mm. and 4,000 yards. A lot of times maybe a high touchdown rate like that might have been some flukiness. But well, he, you he's can guess he has a strong college dominator. Sure. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> those numbers. Must yeah. be a stud. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, you saw it in the preseason. It was probably against lesser competition where he's gaining that separation. But now we're in the regular season and he's playing and he's still still not separating. really having too much of a problem of, of separation. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know if this guy's ever really going to equate to anything as an every every down player for, for your fa or every week player for your fantasy team here. Yeah. But he can certainly make a difference for the actual for your actual football team. Sure. And it seems like he could really develop in, into a decent player, you know. He has all the tools, right? Uh, you know, it's just going to be about opportunity and, and his development, you know, as a receiver and how serious he kind of wants to take this is, is once you get to this level is kind of, I think, where the line's starting to get drawn. Well, he scored two touchdowns the last, he scored a touchdown each of the last two weeks. Um, he's been flashing. If uh, you go back to week nine, he played Cincinnati, he had a ridiculous one-handed catch. And what I really liked about that route that he ran is like he got bumped pretty hard on his like in the middle of the route and like he wasn't thrown off balance at all like he kept it moving showed a strong upper body and then separated and then made a ridiculous like one-handed catch outside his body behind him and like i like the dudes that can flash and make these plays like they just yeah. need some more opportunity they need to get a little bit of more strength i mean six one he's only 194 maybe put a little bit more weight on that body that's i always like a little bit bigger of a receiver but i mean just these just take take note Antonio of what the Brown Jaguars. Antonio Brown any more weight on his body. That's true. That's true. <laughs> um, take note of what these Jaguars are doing. Like I'm like it's damn near like the Packers drafting wide receivers over here. Just get get it. Get, take a stab on any of these Jags wide receivers. They know what yeah. they're doing here in the wide receiver room. Yeah, I mean I'm I'm 
probably not giving up or, or you know, do anything drastic for Keelan Cole. But if you got him at the bottom of your bench, you got to be excited about heading into the off season with this guy on there. And and you know, maybe you could cash out with a with a you know a fourth round pick or something for for Keelan Cole, or you hang on and maybe one or two of these guys leaves, like we've been saying. You know, your Lee or your Robinson and and he and or Hearns gets cut or whatever, and you get a little bit more opportunity for this guy to to you know blossom into. Maybe maybe somebody who is a, a a weekly flex starter or something along those lines. Sure, he's turning heads. He's been pe- he's picked up. He's you know most of the time he's not on the waiver wires anymore. Even in the short bench leagues, somebody's grabbed him looking for a plug in. Yeah, when you see those kind of flashing kind of plays, those capture everybody's eyes. But this is why you watch the preseason because mm-hmm. this was happening in the preseason. Exactly right. what's happening now was happening in the preseason, and I told you in August about this guy. This is somebody that you need to watch. Yep. And you could have had him before everybody What's funny else. is I remember that. We were we were doing this. Kalen, Kalen, Kalen. Casey was talking about Keelan Cole, and I was like, you know, I was telling our listeners, like, I know you don't know who that is. More than mm-hmm. 99% chance, if you're listening to this podcast, you're into Dynasty, and you still don't even know who Keelan Cole is, because I didn't. I remember saying that specifically. I was like, I don't know who Keelan Cole is. And Casey's brought him up, so if Casey's bringing him up in preseason and right now, and it's the guy you never heard of, you should probably check him out. And here he is; he's like, turning heads. He's could have paid you wire. at least a little bit of dividends, a, fr- a free pickup, right? Solid. Got to star him, you know. Got to hit that star button and keep him on your watch list. That's and what it's all about. A couple weeks later, you well, it's might time to pick him up. We're past, him up. Oh, we're yeah, past yeah, star, yeah. and you probably can't. Oh, but even I'm pick saying like up, that was you star him when right. we're telling yeah. you about him in the preseason right. before you've ever heard of him. I gave you the the star. He gave right. you the star. Your, it was your yeah. duty to just figure out when it was time to to pick him up for free. Burn a roster spot on him yeah. or, or a practice squad spot on him. Exactly. You said duty. 